In this video, we're going to look at uh, scale and dimensions inside of uh, 3D code. It's an important thing to understand when you're modeling. So let's get to it. I've opened up 3D code and instead of choosing one of the main menu options here, I'm just going to close this down. And I want to just draw your attention to the grid here and the size and scale of our scene because we don't really have that much information as to what's going on here. To do that, one of the things that we could do is first of all go to Edit Preferences and in the Input Output you can see that our units here for our exports are set to meters. Uh, we can hit this toggle uh, drop down here and just select which one. I'm going to keep it to meters for now. And the other thing which is a little bit strange inside of 3D Code is what's called the, the uh, scene size. And to, to find that you need to go over to the sculpt room, funnily enough, and then go to geometry, uh, sorry, edit scene scale. Uh, and then you'll find scene scale here. Now by default, it will be set to one, but this really isn't much use to us because we don't know what one unit is. Is one unit this box here? Is that one meter? Or is the division one meter? It doesn't really explain itself very well. So what I'll do now is just jump over into Blender and bef as before I've just made a simple cube and I've set up my exchange folders and texture folder like we did in the previous video so if you don't know how to do that check that video out and it will go through that for you and inside Blender first thing I'm going to do is just understand what the dimension of this cube in Blender is so I will make sure that um, uh, I'm in an orthographic view by toggling this icon here. I'll then set my view to um, uh, one of the axes so I can see straight on. And I'll just measure across just so we can understand what our size is here. So using the measure tool here, I'll click and drag across. one side to the other and we're looking at make sure oh when you do measure make sure that you're exactly going in the right way let's just redo that so once again I'll just click and and drag across just to confirm so we're looking at two meters across you can see this this measurement here is more accurate than that one because I went off on that one. So we're looking at two meters. Okay, so that gives us a little bit more information about this object. Right, next thing is to select this object, which we know is two meters now, and N on the keyboard, go down to our 3D coat tab and send this over to 3D coat. And once I've done that, um, this box has come up because I already kind of opened a scene inside of 3D code. And it's asking me now, do I want to merge this object from Blender into this scene? And I'll just say uh, new scene for now. So it's a little bit like just making a brand new scene. And click OK. So first of all, let's go back into the paint room so we can see that object and where it's been brought in. So there's the object from Blender. Now inside of 3D Coat, we've got a measure tool too. And if I click on that, again, I'll you choose uh, my orthographic view here and snap it to one of the axes. And I will click and drag across just to confirm Yep, hit escape to drop the tool and you can see that this bot obviously has come through and 
the scale and size of 3D coat is two meters. Uh, one thing I have to do just to be sure is just change that to meters. Uh, it was on millimeters before, but obviously um, we're still at two meters. So everything looks okay. And so the question is, well, why do I need to understand if 3D coat is, is working for me and, and sort of everything seems to be fine? But here's the thing. If I go over to the um, uh, sculpt room again, and inside the sculpt room, I go to the geometry tab, edit scene scale again. Notice down and uh, down here, it no longer says one. It says two hundred and ninety-five point six zero three 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 three, and so. 3D Coat has actually done something here behind the scenes and helped me to make the scale of my Blender object and my um, 3D Coat version of that object compatible, which is fine. As I said before, why bother? I mean, why, why concern myself with that? The, these two apps are speaking together in a good way and everything's okay. But this figure troubles me because it's a strange number and I don't understand what that actually means in terms of scale. You definitely need to understand your scale when modeling and especially when you're bringing it in and out of different packages. And what I'll do is I'll change this value now and I'll give it a value of 100 and hit OK. You'll see a quick change in the scale. The grid changed its size, meant so something's happened. And if I jump back into the paint room now, you'll see that my scale is now 5.9 meters. Now, this can be a little bit confusing, and it's even more confusing when you kind of move this around and suddenly that happens and it snaps to this size. So if I delete this measurement here, zoom in onto this object again now and snap it as I did before. And choose the measuring tool, make sure I'm in meters, and now go across. You see that now we're back at two meters again. So you can understand why people, particularly beginners, are going to get confused with this if they don't understand this sort of um, scene scale inside of 3D Coat, because it is a little bit confusing, especially if things are jumping around, as, as we just noticed that, that it would do. But for all intents and purposes, this is actually now correct. I've now got this object. But let me show you my method now of, of doing this, just so we have a little bit more uh, compatibility and a little bit more control, let's say, over these objects. The thing that you can do when you're starting your project inside of 3D Coat is to go over to the Sculpt tab here, go over to Geometry, and the first thing to do would be to go to the edit scene scale and make sure you have a value of 100 in there at the beginning and say OK to that. At this point, you go over to Blender, you take the cube object that you have and N on the keyboard to send that object over to 3D Coat. And when we get this dialog here, uh, we'll get this option to merge. Now, before I said uh, to, uh, I demoed with a new scene, but what I tend to do is once I've set my uh, scene scale is I will merge the object coming from Blender into the scene that I have set in terms of its scale. So that's why the merge option is the better one to use. So if I click on that now and accept the uh, dialog import options, 
jump over to the paint room. My object has now been imported. Let's just check everything is okay. I'll turn on my orthographic view, snap to the axis, set to meters, and click and drag across just to confirm I'm set to two meters. So at this point, I'm quite happy with that. That's that's fine. I know that my model is two meters and I know that the distance is is cr is the same as it is in Blender and that's the most important thing because now I've got some understanding and if I just jump back over to the sculpt room just to double check this option here you'll notice I'm still at 100 and if you remember before we started at 1 and then after we did our import um, of our Blender object, this changed to that random or seemingly random number that uh, 3D Coat used to get the measurement and the and the scale correct. But now it's at 100. I feel a little bit more confident with 100 than that arbitrary number that we got, got last time. This is just personal preference. Um, I just prefer to work this way, just so I understand exactly what I'm working with. So let's go back to this paint room now and this object. You'll notice I've set my scale, uh, sorry, my, my measurement at the bottom here. And I'll bring in the grid now. So here, now this grid is going to be mean a little bit more to me. So we can see that the grid spacing across here is two meters because we know that our cube is two meters and we know that there are two grid main grid squares and then we've got uh, subdivisions of those squares there. So now this makes more sense for me because now I'm understanding what is what in terms of scale. So let's put that back on. So we can see we've got two grid squares, one meter each. And the great thing about this measure tool inside of 3D Code is I can continue to make new measurements with this. So I could set another point here if I needed to, just to measure that distance there to confirm that's one meter. And my subdivision of that, obviously, is going to be 0.5 of a meter. Now my grid squares and my my uh, scale inside of 3D Code, I have a, I have a much better understanding of that now, in terms of this grid. So that's a quick look at using the measurements and and trying to understand the scale between the two applications when you're using an app link. That's going to put us in good stead now for the next tutorial where we're going to build something a little bit more complicated than a cube, thank goodness, and uh, do it at a scale that we can understand when we're jumping backwards and forwards between Blender. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.